Hello and welcome to this Christmas charity shop haul. My name is Kate and I've got some lovely bargains to show you and I'm really excited to be filming this video because I didn't think I'd be able to do a charity shop haul before Christmas because obviously we're on lockdown too, the charity shops were closed in my area anyway and, um, and then I went to a couple and found some lovely things so I can now do this charity shop haul oh that's my watch telling me to breathe i am breathing stop it um so lots of things to show you i've got them in a big basket here um so loads of christmas treasure in there but i've got to do my mug of the day first and it is this gorgeous one that my friend kelly got me last year my phone is vibrating again it's telling me to breathe i am breathing and exhale <sighs> no go away i'm going to take you off hang on a minute just get get rid of you for a second go away um right okay so my god for the day my friend kelly got me this one. Oh, it's my watch i am breathing breathe okay i'll just i'll put it over it's vibrating still hang on go over there just stop it um what was i saying right mug of the day so my friend kelly got me this uh, i think it was a couple of years ago perhaps it was from TK Maxx and it was a gift for my birthday and I love it it's one of my favorite Christmas mugs ever so it's got a llama on it as you can see because because you know you can you're watching this video and it says fa la 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 ha ma it has a really lovely singing and it's got polka dots on it just so cute this is my mug of the day and it's just such a good size it's really big stop it I'm going to fling that watch out, but I love this mug of the day. I'm not going to drink it though because it's a coffee and it's gone cold. Right, I'm going to start with my charity shop haul. It's all in this big basket and I actually forgot to show this basket. I think I showed it and then I said, oh, you'll see it in the charity shop. Char what? Um, and then I said, you'll see it in the charity shop haul and then I forgot to show it. So I got this from Very St Edmunds. It was 3 99 for this basket and it's had um, some firewood in it and now it's just got charity shop things. And I'm wearing my fat face jumper, no fat face dress that um, you might have seen if you watched my previous charity shop haul from a few weeks ago, probably about three or four weeks ago. And it fits really nicely. So I'll link this video, that video in the description in case you want to watch it. It was £7 from Break Charity Shop and it's just really cosy and I love the print. Very cute dress. Um, yeah, so just in case you wanted to know. And my hairband is from, I think it's a Peacock's one, I think, from the summer. All right, let me put this back. No, I'll keep it here, actually. And then I can just show things, you know, to the camera. All right, so I'm going to start off with, there's a couple of random things in here, actually. You'll see why when I show you. So just got a few little decorations that I thought was so cute. Really traditional bauble decorations. Well, they're not even they're not called bauble decorations they're called baubles i love that um print on it so it's almost like decoupage isn't it i've got a few of these actually that, that were my mum's and they're quite bright colors so they're gonna look really nice it's probably from the same i don't know where they're from originally but they must have been the same make i think they're just plastic but they look kind of they glazed with santa on them and it was a pound for all of them and that was from Sue Ryder Charity Shop. So a pound for uh, five baubles. Yeah, there's five there. So I just think they're really cute. So I'll add them to our tree. We've got two Christmas trees this year. You might have seen on my house account on Instagram. So we've got like a, a posh tree with like white on it. I say it's posh, it's got Poundland baubles on. Um, and then the other tree is just everything's on it. Um, and I will do a, a decoration tour thing of our Christmas decorations soon. I've been promising that one. Rufus is snoring, you can probably hear him. He's just here having a snore. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you are these ugly sweater coasters. And I just thought they'd be quite fun over Christmas to put them about. And it says, let's get blitzened. And naughty is the new nice, let it flow. So we'll be having some Christmas gins over Christmas. And I thought they were quite nice little coasters. And the make is, 30watt.com it says Minneapolis on the back so but they've come from America what do you reckon if you're from America and you're watching hello to you do you recognize do you know this or maybe it's not at all I don't know I thought it seemed a bit American I don't know why I don't know what I'm on about anyway they were a pound what does it say there no it just says green medium doesn't tell me any other information and um, a pound on the back there what's underneath does it say anything? Hmm, no, it doesn't. Made in, oh, you can't tell. Green, no. 
I don't know, T, T, A, oh, I don't know. I don't know, I'll shut up anyway. So a pound for those little coasters, ugly Christmas sweater. The fact that it's, oh, sorry, the fact that it says sweater makes me think sweater, because that's the Maryland's terrible accent. Okay, I've got, I'm gonna put this down, so it's, it's in my way actually. I'm gonna put it here. I've got a lovely Christmas scarf. It's not a Christmas scarf at all, it's just a scarf. It's a Norwich scarf, it was three pounds from the Sue Ryder charity shop. And I thought I'd get this for my dad. So when he comes up here and, you know, if he's, you know, likes watching Norwich and he does, he is a bit of a gambler, so he'll probably bet on Norwich and this is our local team. So he can wear this. So I'm going to wrap that up as a little gift for my dad. Just a little cute scarf. It's really short. I don't know if it's a kid's one, but I thought I'd get that anyway and give it to my dad because he does love a scarf. And we've got to support Norwich. Oh, you're right. So three pounds for that scarf. Um, and then this is really random. So I got this and thought, I didn't even look at it. I got it from Sue Ryder Charity Shop. It's a Smithy's wig. It was, it was brand new. It's got this thingy on and it was two pounds. And I was hoping this would be a wig for my dad, but it could be a long one because he does a Frank Carson show and he's always after wigs for his Frank Carson show. And I thought, oh, it could be a Frank Carson one. And I think it is. He's going to love that. I'm going to get a photo of my dad in his wig on Christmas Day with his scarf. I'm not sure what that's up. I've obviously got it on wrong, but um, this could be a Frank Carson wig. Obviously, when Frank Carson was, was younger, because he does a Frank Carson tribute show thing. And he did it in the Edinburgh Festival. Should I keep this on for the rest? Shall I? Okay, then. And then, I hope you didn't say no. I love charity shops for this kind of thing, because the other day when I went to Sue Ryder, they had a big like, basket of Christmas items and they had a good old rummage. I saw this and I thought, this is why I love charity shops. One of the reasons, because you never know what's there. So it's just a packet full of lovely Christmas um, tags. So there's two different types of string, Christmas tags, gift tags, you know, to write on gifts. And they were a pound. So the whole thing was only a pound. It's just, I love things like this. So you've got all of the tags. The string to go through them and I'll put them on the presents. I've got some stickers as well so if I don't end up using them I can put them away for next year. Love those really cute little cardboard tags. So a pound for those. Such a bargain. I love it. I'm gonna make this no edit video as well I've just decided as I've got the wig on because I haven't stopped yet. And I got a lovely Christmas candle. I nearly didn't see this actually and then um, I put something back and then uh, I thought, oh, what's that? And it smells amazing. It's a Sainsbury's Christmas candle. Hang on, can you see it there? Sainsbury's Christmas candle. And it says pillar candle, um, Christmas tree. And that was a pound as well. And it smells so nice. It smells of frosted spruce. I learned that last year. It means Christmas tree, I think, but it smells of Christmas tree. Smell it, frosted spruce. Um, yeah, that's all I can tell you about that. It was a pound, so I'll use that this Christmas. I've also got a lovely little Christmas tree. This is actually, oh, it is green. It looks black, but it looks a bit greeny there. Maybe it's greeny black, maybe. And it's got little bits for, oh, there's a hair attached to me, tea lights. So there's little sections here for tea lights. And actually, I've, it did have four, but I dropped that one. So I thought that would look lovely somewhere for Christmas, maybe in the um, in the living room, the bright living room, maybe on the mantelpiece or somewhere. I just couldn't leave it behind. I, th I, I thought, oh no, I need to get it. I nearly didn't. And I was like, yeah, go on then. And that was three pounds from Cancer Research. Really nice. So I'm gonna take this wig off. I'm gonna take you off for the minute wig, but that is perfect for my dad. He's gonna love that. Might be his best present, a strange wig. And he can wear it with his, Norwich scarf. This is so cute. This is a beautiful little jumper, Christmas jumper. How lovely is that? Really, really sweet. It's got um, little sequins on as well. I think it's H&M. It's H&M and it says extra small, but I don't believe it. I'm pretty sure that's going to fit. And it was £5.50. Love the colours. That's really, really nice. So a Christmas jumper for me. Yay, I love you. Love you. So I'm just going to pop that over there. I've got some little mittens as well. These were from Cancer Research UK 
and they were £1.50 but there's a mark on them so I was going to give these away but they're kids mittens but they fit me they've got oh a couple of like I think there's coffee stains on it here so I'm just going to use them I tried them on and they fit me let me just have another go and they're really snuggly and you can always I always um, lose my gloves so it'd be great to just have some in the car so they're just like that and then you obviously flip that little bit over but really cute little mittens are they mittens yeah I don't want it just as gloves but obviously your thumb is covered up so you've got a nice warm thumb then you pop that over so a cute little gloves that I've got for me they were £1.50 and then I've got some really cute decorations actually they're lovely I'll save those oh that's all right I'll show that in a second so these little decorations were all together how cute is this snowflake Rufus is snoring quite loudly now that is a snowflake isn't it this is a Gisella Graham um, product and it was a pound and then inside the little box just really lovely oh it's quite heavy actually so it's just a gorgeous really simple ceramic snowflake and that's going to go on our posh tree because it will match everything just lovely I love things like this really cute so I think that was a pound it doesn't say but I'm pretty sure that was a pound as well and then this is really sweet too look at this little sledge it's a little wooden sledge these are really I keep seeing sledges all over Instagram like people have them outside and they look lovely so I'll have mine inside and I'll just hang it up but I'll probably take this off and hang it up from the middle bit there because that might not look that won't look as good as if you um if I take that off and hang it off like that do you know what I mean so I'm gonna hang that on my posh tree as well so really sweet isn't it little wooden and it weighs nothing it's that really light wood really cute so yeah that'll go on the posh tree and then another little tea light holder thing so this is just um just a little wooden snowflake and you put your tea light in there and that was one pound fifty oh hello pound fifty, and this was it doesn't say but i think that was a pound or one pound fifty so really cute i'm not sure where that's from but that's lovely isn't it love things like that really nice um and simple and lovely and this is amazing i love this little it's a little house and i saw it and i was it was all with all the cute decorations actually and i thought oh, i'm gonna have to get it so it's a little ceramic house so you put a tea light in there and I'm not sure where it's from. It says home art on the back. It just says home art and it was £2.75. The colour's like a a, gray, a taupe. I think it's a taupe if I've got that correct. And um, just really cute, isn't it? It's got a little heart there and the windows, the chimney to like let the heat out. Love that. It's really sweet. And I did get one. I did get one. I bought a really cute little house ceramic um decoration from home bargains but it's got an led light led candle and i'll link that haul in the description in case you fancy watching it so that's gonna look really nice next to it i think with the little houses i've got a few little houses so maybe i should make a little village oh i've got some fluff oh no i can't edit it i think i'm okay anyway so yeah a cute little house two pound 75 that's lovely isn't it really sweet i love finding things like that um, i'm going to try and go out to maybe have another morning of charity shop shopping just maybe one more just go to a couple more just to see if there's any treasure because there's such I love looking at Christmas in the charity shops you, you can find such amazing things and like these these are all gifts actually so I got this for Toby and Lee I'm going to wrap it up and give it to them as like a joint present and it's a game I've never seen it before but it looks good I don't know if this is old like an old-fashioned one or it's just made to look kind of retro. You all right, Rufus? I think he's having doggy dreams, his little legs are going. Are you okay? Yeah, he's okay. Um, it just says Wembley, capture the magic of the FA Cup, Gibson. So let me know, is that an old thing? Or is it like a retro -y copy? I don't think, well, it doesn't look like it's ever been used. It's got all the, they might have taped it together, but it's in perfect condition. And on the back it just says, um, does your team have what it takes to follow the road to Wembley? So maybe it's like a Monopoly thing, but football instead. And it was £4.95. 
as you can see there. So I think they're going to love that. Toby loves Monopoly. I've gone off Monopoly because it just takes so long. Um, I love the Settlers of Catan. That's like my favourite game. But hopefully this will be good. So I'll wrap that up for them, that game. And then I also bought a little book for them. So this is... Uh, oh, I'm going to burp. Hang on. Oh, mini burp. Felt like Mr Carrington. He leaves his burps on as well, doesn't he? But hopefully he didn't hear it. Um, right, so this is a little book of... What does it say? A little book of European Cup football. Club football. It's just nice looking through pictures. And that was £1.95. And in here, I think it's just... Just different, yeah, pictures and information about players. And I bought Lee a book years ago from a car boot sale before I did YouTube. I think it was like 10 years ago or more. And it was like football in pictures from around the world. And it's such a nice little like coffee table book. We were looking at it the other day. So I think, you know, they like having a look at different things like this. So, um, and it's obviously good for Toby reading as well. He loves knowing about football. So probably all the history in here which is which is great so hopefully they'll they'll like that little gift for the pair of them and then this is my final item oh this is the basket um that was 3.99 so i'll just show that in better detail i love it love that basket so it's really handy for like fire logs or it's just got my haul stuff in it at the moment i love it um so the last thing i want to show you this is a present for lee some tottenham oh it's got some fluff on it Tottenham golf balls. Golf balls. I said that strange. Strangely. So these were three pounds. Lee sometimes goes to golf, so I thought maybe he can use them. Or we might just give them to his dad. And can you see Tottenham? There's a Tottenham thing there. So the original price was eleven ninety nine, and I got them for three pounds. So I'm going to wrap those up for Lee, and he might enjoy his. Oh, Toby's been learning a little bit. He hasn't played for ages, but he's quite good at golf. So. I'll probably wrap that up for the pair of them as well. So maybe all these three things, I'll wrap them up um, and then put to Toby and Lee with my posh gift tags that were a pound. So I'll probably do that for them. Yeah, so that is everything in my charity shop haul. I love charity shops at Christmas. Like I said before, it's, I think it's my favourite time to go charity shop shopping because you can find such bargains, like I've said, and really like individual things and little things like that you wouldn't where would you buy that from it's just gorgeous love it and that so cute but thank you for watching let me know your favorite item in this haul pop it in the comments and i will speak to you what have i got friday is my next video and it's a special one it's a come dine with us christmas version so if you remember lockdown number one me you and and luke did our come dine with us videos it was like virtual dinner parties we're doing a special christmas one and that'll be here on friday i think a bit later around four or five o'clock um, so I'm really looking forward to watching their video. I'm doing, I think I could say, I'm doing the starter and then Ewan, no, Luke is doing the main and Ewan is doing pudding. And we'll probably do some Christmas cocktails as well. So that's the next video. It's here on Friday. But I did have, um, what I have? Oh, I had a Poundland one for Monday. A Poundland haul if you want to watch that. I'll link it below. And the Cherries haul and Home Bargains as well. So I'll link a few videos in the description box so you can watch them if you like and come over to instagram as well i'm kate mccabe on instagram and my house account is kate's homely home so come and say hi there but i'm gonna go i'm getting thirsty oh I'll, I'll drink my cold coffee i'm gonna have the rest of this and i'll speak to you soon take care sending love to everyone bye bye from the llama mug bye